هاي كيفك سافا يلا ليتس جو This is how many Lebanese speak انا ماني فرنش ادوكيتد بس انه هلو وي مام Sometimes بحكي مع my friend Maître, l'hesab please Three different languages, English, Arabic and French within the same sentence يلا باي يلا باي Lebanon has been a multilingual country since early in the 19th century. French and British missionaries established schools and introduced Western languages. Later, with French colonization, the country became a nation of Francophiles. Now, this diversity leads many to think that the Arabic language is threatened. It is threatened not because the language is incapable of adapting and facing the development. It is threatened because of an inferiority complex that the Arabs have to their language. We're not willing to put an effort to develop our language according to the needs, business needs, and developmental needs of society. Uh, we're lazy. <laughs> However, many Lebanese are proud that their children are bilingual or even trilingual. Like Naila Fahad, a Lebanese mother of three who hardly speak their mother tongue. I think they have the chance to live in a country where they can learn three languages and I would like them to speak both three well. I'm in a French school and I talk Arabic but I talk French better than Arabic. Classical language is maybe threatened and we have to find ways to revive it. But the Lebanese talking language, I don't think it's threatened. I think it's just moving. Lately, there has been efforts to revive the language and make it more appealing. Our alphabets, we should... Suzanne Talhouk, a physics major who has published two books of poetry, is one of the staunch enthusiasts of Arabic language. She founded Phil Amr, meaning Act Now, an organization that works on preserving the Arabic language in Lebanon. We want to celebrate our language. How? By saying to people that we can produce arts, we can produce movies, we can produce theater, we can produce songs, we can produce everything in our language. And the big thing is connecting the Arabic language with what is contemporary. The organization put together a festival that showcased 150 artists in dance and drama, along with a major media campaign that had the title Don't Kill Your Language. However, for some, events like this are not enough. Many people say government and civil society need to work together to bolster the Arabic curriculum in schools, revive the Arabic language, and make it appealing to the new generation. Rima Maktabi, CNN, Beirut, Lebanon.